Oh hi guys, this is Christina, and for this he uh, for this video we are going to look at uh, my other manual trading EA called GUI manual trading. So this one compared to the manual trading back tester, you can view it that this two EA has similar functions except that they are using different approach. For this manual trading back tester, we're using hotkeys. And for this EA, we only, um, uh, the way I have developed, it's only allowed to do back testing. And for the GUI manual trading, uh, we have both back testing and forward trading in mind. So this works in both environment. And the, the most significant difference is uh, instead of using hotkeys, and here we're using an interface. An easier approach has its advantages. For example, this one using hotkey, uh, the installation for the files is very simple. You just have one file and you put in the expert folder and then you're done. You can start using it. And for GUI manual trading, you can see here the interface is very uh, is visually appealing and the the action and is very simple by clicking the bot and uh, the buttons. It's just that the installation involves three files is a little bit more difficult. It's depending on your style. And uh, this interface is designed to be as simple as possible, but also being flexible. And now I'm demonstrating in a uh, forward trading environment. So I attach to this chart. And if you look at uh, this interface first, uh, we have this window, and if you look at the external variables, I have two variables to define the location of this window. One is x offset, one is y offset, and this and this is basically the distance to the top left corner of the chart. So if x offset is 50 means this is 50, and y is 50 means this is 50. To adjust these two numbers, you can basically move this window to anywhere on chart. Okay, and then we have these three text windows. You can insert text with it, and they representing lot size, stop loss, and I use the red color to remind you this is stop loss, and the green color representing take profit. So before you hit buy or sell, these three variables needs to be dealt with. So before you hit buy or sell button, you need to tell this EA what is your lot size and what is your stop loss and what is your tick profit for and for stop loss here you can input a number or make it blank when this is blank that means this order will be opened without a stop loss same thing with take profit this could be a number Obviously, they are measured by pips. 50 means 50 pips. Or it can be blank, means there's no take profit. I'm going to open orders without stop loss, but with the take profit. And here, this representing the lot size. The lot size, we have two options. One is fix the lot size, whatever you write here. Let's just say 0.13. Or the other option is to automatically calculate lot size based on account risk. Let's talk about that later. So once you determine all of these, then you can hit buy or sell to open trades. For example, I just hit buy. Then here is the alert you're going to receive. So the time the order is opened, and this is the EA name and opened on what currency, what time frame, and buy order, this is order ticket, this is order open price, this is alert you're going to receive, and if you look at your order panel, 
if you show the order comment, you will see you clearly see this is the order that opened by this EA because in order comment it's um, it's uh, written here it's being opened by this. Okay, this is by open. Also, you can see here this one without stop loss, but with a take profit, and this is a lot size. <clears throat> Now, the other way of doing lot size is this. And here in the external variables, we have risk percent. Two means two percent. Well, I am going to make this uh, one percent because I have a pretty large balance. One percent, okay? So if that's the case, if you wanted to, for the EA to automatically calculate lot size, just leave the lot size to blank. Then when you hit buy or sell, it's going to calculate lot size based on 1% of account balance with a stop loss of 50 pips. Okay, see, let's see if we do a sell here. <clears throat> remember, remember, if you want the EA to automatically calculate lot size, you need to have a stop loss because stop loss is closely tied with how big the lot size needs to be. You can see here this new order here, it has a stop loss and take profit and this is the order being calculated. And when this order hit full stop loss, it's going to lose 1% of account balance this much money. Okay, so now in the case the user forget to put in a lot sign, a stop loss. Remember, when we do automatically calculation based on 1% of account balance, we need the stop loss. In the case the user do make a mistake, and what happens is EA will just by default open a trade and using the smallest allowed lot size. In my case, it's 0.01. Okay, so this is how you open trades. And now let's talk about how to close trades. When you need to close trade and you pick a trade from here, okay? And the list here, it should list every trade that is belong to this current currency pair, not just the trade uh, that's opened by, by the CA. Every trade it uh, belongs to GPBUSD. And this one, it won't be automatically uh, refreshed. Before you want to, uh, every time you open a trade, if you want to close it, you need to hit R button. This basically means refresh. Once you hit refresh and the trade list is being refreshed, and now you can see there's three trades belong to this pair. In this case, is all opened by the CA, but it it's not necessarily true. I can open one. For example, let me just uh, trading mm, new order. Let's hit a buy. So you can see here now I have another GPBUSD that's not opened by the CA. However. Uh, right now I have three orders that haven't hit the refresh and once you do this you can see there's four orders when you wanted to close the trade before you close the trade first to hit refresh and then choose the one trade you wanted to be closed and then just click close select trade and then in this case that that particular trade will be closed uh, is it did I oh okay it's just right now it's nighttime. The market is not very active. As you can see, that trade is being closed. So this is basically all this this particular E is going to do for you. And this one you can use it in forward testing as well as back testing.